and welcome back to another video. One that I am very excited about, okay? So, as you can tell by the title of today's video, it is going to be my laundry room. I was saying a laundry room refresh, but it turned into a whole laundry room makeover because projects don't always go as planned, okay? And so, before I can show you the end, I have to show you the beginning. And I'm really excited because while we don't have a super huge laundry space, when I tell you guys, I maximized every ounce of that space we do have and made it look grand without further ado. <laughs> Please allow me to show you a space here in the house that I actually love being in. Literally love being in. Cue the video cameraman. Okay, so this is real life situation and laundry. Okay, the washer just went out. The dryer been having an issue with drying the clothes in um one cycle or whatever. So we're gonna we actually went out and purchased a new washer and dryer. So we're gonna take the opportunity to go ahead and make over the space a little bit. Not really make it over because the paint is new, the floors are new. Um we're going to replace the washer and dryer. We're going to add cabinetry and middle shelving. Um, a top above the, like a countertop area above the washer and dryer. And then the, sh the cabinetry, cabinetry, and middle shelving. If that makes sense. And so we're going to go with butcher block countertops. So here I'm just showing you what the laundry room looks like, more neater, I guess you could say. And we're also taking pictures of the washer and dryer to sell for a little of nothing to get rid of it. And here, Ron has began the demoing process, not really demo, but taking down the racks. So now we're at the phase where um, all this, where he just took the racks down, we got to putty them up, even though I'm covering this with wallpaper, just so it'll be like smooth and not like bumpy or whatever, plus putting cabinets over. So now he's is, he's going to have to cut the wall open nope. to put, huh? Nope. You said you was cutting the wall open, babe, to put a piece of wood in there. I know, because I was thinking the studs was going to be wherever, right? I was going to have to cut the wall open so I can put some framing in here because this bracket is what we're going to use to put for the middle support of the um, butcher block. Yeah. But look at this. Look at that. That stud is dead. Is that dead in the center? Dead in the center. <laughs> can you believe that? Can you believe that, Can you believe that? Okay. Can you believe that? No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> I ain't got it. I ain't got it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, I mean, after we get this patched up, and we do have to repair, well, he has to repair. So, after we get this patched up, and we do have to repair, well, he has to repair, like, the sides right here, and over here, where it got um, messed up at, right there, because... You will still be able to see this. But the good thing about this room is we had already p painted this. This is all new paint. And then we put the floors down when we were doing the other floor. So, we don't have to worry about, like, painting the room. But, but we do have to... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. We do have to find the paint to patch. I mean, to touch up, like, those sides or whatever. But yeah, so we're gonna do that next, right? Yeah. I'm excited. Let me check on your progress, sir. What's the hold up in Man, here? 
Check it out. Oh, God. <laughs> Every time I come in here, it's always something with this, you. This one right here, I don't, this, maybe this was always supposed to be like this. I don't know. Okay. But I did, I measured up for the 15 inches, right? Because I think it's going to be a 15 inch wall cabinet, so I measured, okay. you know, that line. That'll let you know how far you need to, you know, do your wallpaper. Okay. But then I said, well, let me check for the studs, right? Okay. I checked for the stud. Why do I have a stud right here? No. Yeah. And of course, it's always going to be a stud in the corner. Okay. And I got a stud right here. And it's always going to be a stud in the corner. Right so I, at the edge where the cabinets are going to go. Because you know you got to screw the cabinets. Now, let me ask you something. Uh-huh. I'm so glad you didn't have to do all this construction from a simple project. It, it, it don't be simple. But this one it is... It do be. But if you would have already started talking about busting walls down. If there wasn't no wood from here to here, then I would have had to put wood in there. Tell me where uh -huh. does the top of the cabinet stop? Okay. I need my date. Yo, what you need? My handy dandy tape measure. <laughs> all right, so we're at the end of day one. We've got all the putty up, spackle putty, whatever you want to call it. And now I notice we all the way over here and over there. Okay. So come back tomorrow, sand this down, and apply the wallpaper. Damage goods, damage should have never been. Thought you were bulletproof. Look at you, what happened? Did she hurt you? Are you okay? Let me just show you the other one. Hold on. Okay, so this I bought two rolls of this, right? And for those of you who don't know. When you are purchasing wallpaper of any kind or any kind of covering for your wall tip, you want to measure the length times the width. So length and width, width from side to side and then top to bottom. So you multiply those two numbers and that gives you your square footage for the space, right? So this row, this one row covers 27.5 square feet of space. This whole row, right? And it was like 30 something dollars. So, what you see right here is a whole row. Okay? We had like two little tiny scraps that you couldn't even really do nothing with left. So, where you see the two open spaces on the left and the right. That's where the cabinetry is going to go. And I didn't want to have to open the second row for like a little piece. So we literally used the one row to cover everything you will physically be able to see with your eye. <laughs> because the cabinetry will come up, the countertop rather, will come up. And then the cabinetry will go here. And then that part up there will be open. So I'm going to return this. And if I have to make a, a choice, I would not prefer peel and stick. It, it's, it's just not forgiving. And you just kind of got to get it right. I just don't like it. I prefer regular wallpaper. It has more movement until it sets up. But we, we got it up there. You can't even see the seams where it was. So this was very intentional. And this is going back. And I just saved myself 30 dollars oh, yeah this is what was left of that wallpaper this little slither was all that was left out of that roll um so now we're about to test the stains that we want to put on the board boards um that's what's coming up in the next clip i think so apparently we left the stain we bought somewhere outside of the car yesterday so um we have this um what color is this this is a classic gray water base looks like this so i'm going to test it out on a leftover piece of um butcher block 
and see how I'm feeling about this. And we probably may have to go back and buy another can of that. So let me show you how this classic gray look on this raw wood. A little bit on there. Rub it in. Try to go in the same direction. And then wipe off the excess. And that's just one coat right there. It look darn good, mommy. You like? I love it. You want to go a little darker? That's right. We'll do this side. We'll do well, like... No, no, no. Do the back. This side over here? Yeah. No, I'm saying I want to see what this looks like darker. I know, but... Okay. All right. Three coats. So. Yeah, he might try to warm up. Why? Why are you saying that? Because of the brown, the brown look, instead of the gray look. What you got against the gray look, though? Nothing. I like it. I like it. So you got this whole brownish wood theme over there for Remy's corner, which is right in front of the laundry room. I like that look. I like that too, though. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> mm hmm. I like this. This is. You can't tell me. That don't look good, baby. That do look good. I feel like that. I'm telling you, you get this color right here in the enlarger room. Mm -hmm. It's going to. It's going to clash with the floor. Mm. Okay. It's going to be... Hey, listen. One thing I know is to listen to you because you know your ish. So, if you like that and we got that... That, to me, is a winner one million. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. It's a, it's a, it's a win. Yeah. Even with this drying dark like this, that's still pretty to me. Okay. Now, we probably... This... Are we polyurethane and shiny, or are we poly, what's the other one? Polyacrylic. Polyacrylic. We want a polyacrylic because it's water-based. Yeah. So it's wipe offable, water-resistant, uh -huh. stains, water sitting on it, it okay. won't penetrate this. <clears throat> what's the difference between polyurethane <clears throat> and polyacrylic? Polyurethane uh -huh. is oil-based. Oh. Polyacrylic is water-based. <laughs> this <woman. laughs> I don't know what you call that look. This is yeah, pretty. Yeah, that'd be shelves too. That'd be shelves. That's pretty though. You like that? I do actually. Okay. Well. It's a different. To me, this is rich. This is, looks rich to me. Okay. That's what it'd be then. Look at that. Uh -huh. I look nice. Let me show you something. Stay right there. Well, that's nice. Take a picture of these. <laughs> take, take, take. Now that's fine. I disagree. You do? It's too orange. I feel like it's gonna compete oh, with that blue. I don't want no orange. <laughs> Look at it though. Look at that. That's 
nice. It's very orange. It's not brown. It's more orange in here under this white. More heavier, a much heavier red undertone, orange undertone. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. Put it on there again and do your look again. Uh. <laughs> Did you say no? <laughs> okay, so I put the one, I put one um, coat of the classic gray right here um and that's all i'm gonna do one coat is dark enough and then the next thing i'm gonna stain is the two shelves that are gonna go here but ron hasn't cut them yet and for those of you who've been asking hold up i got something to show you okay so as you can see we had to rock ron did the patchwork to the areas where the picture was hanging and areas over there from the racks or whatnot. And so, turns out we will end up having to just go ahead and put another coat of paint on here. And we were thinking that we didn't have any more of this color gray, which is one of the colors you guys always ask me what it is and I have the hardest time remembering. So, I went out in the garage messing and look what I found, the leftover from, that we had, and it is called Mindful Gray by Sherwin Williams. Because <laughs> let, listen, I was minding my business, y'all, and here he come. Hey, come here, let me show you something. I got an idea. So actually, it was two, it was two ideas. Oh, okay, what was the other idea? Okay, so the other idea, Okay. because this butcher block was actually expensive. It was expensive. It and was we expensive. had nerd about two. And we were talking we were thinking about, you know, where we can do plywood or, you know, one bag and try to glue them together. And, you know, at the end of the day, this is again a one time deal. Right. Okay. You do it once. And so I just said, well just spend the extra money, you know, just spend the extra money. So then when I cut this off because this was thirty nine inches and that would have brought it out too far. So when I cut it off, I was like, hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what if we put this? Oh yeah, I forgot. And so, like a backsplash. Backsplash, right? And so that was cool, but as you can see here, yep, it messes with the um, plug. Uh huh. And so I'm like, well, we can still do it because we can just, you know, scoot that out, scoot that back, and you know. But at the end of the day, it just looks more sleek. So you was right again on that one. Okay. All right. <laughs> you was right again on that. This the idea because again, this butcher block is expensive. <laughs> and so this was the piece that was cut off from the link. The end fit here. And so I'm like, well, what if we? Let me go get a hanger. <laughs> the demonstration. Let me go get the hanger. I said, well, what if we put this shelf? Up high like this, and right? Then, and then put a, a hanger bar under here, and then that'll give us a space to temporarily hang clothes that you know you need to air dry, whatever the case is. Yes, honey. Huh? <laughs> and, and it gives me room for more decor. <laughs> she actually said, she actually said that was a good idea. <laughs> And so, yeah, so you got to stay in that one. And I'm thinking about, you got to pick out the brackets, because I don't know which brackets we'll use, whether mm -hmm. that could be industrial, whether or not the pipe right. hanging down would be like a, um, maybe like a, um, um, what you call them, gas pipes? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the, the black ones. Yeah, the black gas yeah. pipe, you know. Uh -huh. So, yeah, so we just got to figure out that. But, um, uh, just, girl, they're not all <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to have a um, this, you know, but having a front, not having a top. The top, you can't, you know, yeah. You can't do it. I'm happy, but I'm not excited. You are. I don't think I've been excited about a washing machine and dryer. Like, <laughs> like, I'm pretty freaking excited about, yeah. Yeah. Okay, y'all, so I have stained the shelving. This is going to be the shelving. And this will get cut straight down the middle in half. So it'll be two pieces. So I'll get 
two shelves. I could have gotten four, but I felt like that was overkill. So he's just going to cut this butcher block straight down the middle. And I stained both sides, top and then the bottom, because you will be able to see both of them. Um, I kind of want to show you the shelf that we made out, out of the excess butcher block from the countertop. But I think I'll just wait until a later clip because it turned out beautiful. We needed it to hang clothes up in there in case we needed, you know, to air dry something or delicate to whatever the case is. Anyway, the two cabinets just arrived. Let me clean your face. The two cabinets just arrived. Look how tall they are. So nice. Actually doing laundry right now. And this is my shelf. I showed you that earlier. Waiting on Ron to come. <laughs> Hang those up real quick and I can show you. Okay, so this is where we are as far as the completion of everything, okay? Um, the cabinets came in yesterday. I think that was probably the last clip. And so we got them hung. Um, here is the shelving unit that Ron created to hang our delicates and stuff that needs to air dry. And he just used piping, the rest of the butcher block, and they're screwed into the stud so that this thing won't move. And then I hung this up just to see what this looked like together because I wanted to wait and decorate the room with you. Um, here's the cabinet. They are 15 by 42. So they're 42 inches tall and 15 inches wide and 12 inches deep. And I gotta go get some knobs today. But this is how it looks on the inside. They're really tall. And I just have um, these products in here for now. Okay, so let me tell you, part of our design idea when we were designing this um, was that we were going to do crown molding above the cabinetry, right? I want to show you the crown molding um, that Ron built. Once we put it up there, we felt like it was overkill, like... We just wasn't feeling it. So we actually scrapped the idea of using the crown molding. But let me show you what it looks like up there. Because we still do have it put together. Also, look at the light that used to be in the dining room. Ron's favorite light that means so much to him. It has the perfect home now. Like it's so perfect for this room. And it's literally one of my most favorite things in the room. Okay, so let me show you the crown molding. Okay, so that's what it looks like with the crown molding that we decided not to use. And he built it from scratch. Like, leave me a comment down below and let me know. Would you have kept the crown molding? I don't know if I can stand back any further for you to really be able to see it. Anyway, we decided not to use it, so let me take it back down. Waste of words, a waste of breath, cause I've got none to say. Thoughts they burn inside my chest, can take it one more day. Much pain I'm in No matter how Gotta think I gotta breathe Changes to come Cause the light's just around the corner Life must go on What won't kill me will make me stronger
to leave Been thinking about them all Cause life's too hard Life's too mean But I can't just jump and fall No matter how much pain
before I go I know this video is ridiculously long okay sorry it was the whole process I brought you through all of it let me quickly just tell you where everything is from just in case you're new here and you haven't watched the previous vlogs where I shared where everything was from 
trash bin is from Walmart. The rug is from the at home store. Appliances are from Best Buy. Butcher block, countertop, and the shelves are from Home Depot. It was cheaper at Home Depot for butcher block than at Lowe's. We bought one large piece and then a smaller piece to get the two shelves. Um, this picture, Hobby Lobby. Cabinetry is from Home Depot. Um, the little white stand is from the at-home store. The dryer sheet um, acrylic bin is from the at-home store. The at-home store. The at-home store. I had this bottle for quite some time. It has Clorox in it. Um, I added this little lid. I mean, um, little crystal knob I had left to that. The wash and dry sign is from the at-home store. Wallpaper, Target, Peel and Stick. Um, the flower up top is the at-home store. So is the clear bin. Clothes pins, I think, were from Walmart. Um, this flower orchid is from the at-home store. The glass jar in and the wool dryer balls are from Walmart. Clock is from Amazon. This bin is from Walmart. The stain remover bottle I think I got from Walmart. This container, um, the at home store. I already had this little tray from years ago. Probably came from Home Goods, I'm sure. I did paint off camera the um, lid and the base for the canisters, which are from the at home store. And then I added crystal knobs to those as well. Um that bin walmart the flower arrangement i made from um hobby lobby i already had the vase and these hearts ron already had those hearts and they have kind of been floating around the house like everywhere and then of course the piping and all that stuff i think he got from home depot the lost sock seeking soulmate sign is from amazon the um, what do you call this? The, uh, wall broom holder situation. I ordered from Amazon and I had one from Home Depot and we just couldn't get it to do this. So we took it back. This is a lifesaver because listen, once you close open the door, you can't see the top of it. You just don't even know it's back there. And it's such a space saver. And I love having this because otherwise the brooms and stuff would have been all over the place. Um, and the light Ron already had. I'm not sure where he got it from. Probably Amazon. Maybe. I don't know. Um, and I think I covered where everything is from. I do want to say the shelves here. We chose not to use brackets. To hold them up we wanted them to look floating um again this is heavy butcher block and they are literally just screwed into the sides of the cabinetry ron screwed them in with these heavy um heavy duty screws and so they just look like they're floating there now i will say this um this makeover for us wasn't as costly as we would have normally done because, of course, we had to buy the new appliances. And, you know, if you know, you know. Um, and also, we splurged on the butcher block as opposed to using plywood, which I've seen a lot of um, laundry makeovers use plywood to get this look where they put a thick lip on the front and make it really thick even the shelving I've seen people use plywood to do the shelving um, and if that works for you cost wise or you know that's totally fine but we just decided that we would you know splurge on this room like we've done the rest of the house <laughs> so we did go with the expensive butcher block for the look um, and the quality but I have nothing against 
the plywood look because it actually does look really really good and it will save you a uh, several hundred dollars just by doing that if you want the specs on this smart washer dryer system I can make a separate video about that we'll let Ron do it because honey this thing is hooked up to that girl here she is mm -hmm. she is hooked up we can work this from our phones um it's just a whole situation and he absolutely loves this Bluetooth <laughs> smart stuff here so if you want a video on that I will be glad because we've used it several times now and listen this has been a game changer in this house um, again if you are new here I hope the video was helpful in case you are in the process of making over your laundry room you can do it on a budget you do not have to spend what we spent on this space um, by DIYing and just being more cost efficient. You know, whatever works for you. Um, again, I do hope it was helpful though. And I hope it inspires you. Like it definitely has inspired this household to do laundry literally in a few hours as opposed to days and days and days. So it's a beautiful thing. If you're not subscribed to this channel, I don't know what you're waiting on. Sis, go ahead and push that red button below, okay? And turn your bell on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Um, again, I will be adding the knobs probably this afternoon and you'll see them in a vlog somewhere. What I chose and yeah, I can rest now. Bye y'all. Okay, so I wanted to come back. And insert the clip of the pools that I chose. Um, and they're black. Um, they are from Lowe's. And they're just much easier to open. Also, one of the other things I forgot to mention in the earlier clips of um, showing you the new space. Was the fact that in the very first video of the before... Um, and we had the wire racks up here and all of the products were exposed and, you know, out of order or whatever. We did try baskets at one point, like when we first redid that space, um, when we painted it and put the floor in that space, right? We had baskets, but it wasn't real practical even for the boys to reach up and pull the basket down. Like the product never went back in the basket. So, in adding the cabinetry, it just definitely eliminated that problem of being able to see product, but also being able to have the product still in the space that we use it for. So, I'm so happy that Ron did decide to go with the 42-inch cabinets as opposed to the 30 because we get way more space. And see, we're not even using the two top ones yet. In fact, we haven't even done our regular grocery stock up run anyway. So, that is what this looks like. I just thought I would put that clip in here of the new cabinet pools. And these pools are actually just like the gold ones that are on the bookshelf, but smaller. So, that's what this looks like. And I want to show you this. Let me, let me figure something out and show you something real quick okay i don't even know why i wanted to show this part but at night <laughs> there's nothing in either one but at night we literally just turn these on and sit at the table and look in here so the light is on automatic for motion right but these are we just have them on for like a night light like a vibe I know that's weird, but <laughs> we weird. So, yeah. Okay, babe, since you already in here again for the thousandth time, <laughs> this is where I keep catching you at. I haven't even um, edited the video yet. So, since I'm in the process of that, let me go ahead and get your words on the new space because you keep coming in this room. Like... <laughs> Like this is this is really beautiful, I'm, and the decor is amazing, and the total just everything is really it's it's, it's nice, it's beautiful. You pleased? 
Are you pleased with our my choice to go with that color stain as opposed to the one you wanted? Absolutely. It looks beautiful. It makes sense. You know, it totally makes sense to go with the whole vibe. I guess wrong. And then the light. Okay. I give you the light. Okay. I give you the light. <laughs> <laughs> because you were the one feeling the light coming in here. I mean, you know, I mean, it's a lot of light. You know, it's eight bulbs. But, yeah, it does add that whole vibe to it. Like the whole room is a bigger. Way bigger. Yeah. It's crazy how we have bigger stuff in here and more stuff, but it just I maximize every inch of this room. Yeah. Like literally. I love it all. What's your favorite part? I think if you had to choose one thing, babe, what is it? The wash machine and dry. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that. The wash machine and dry. And mine be. would be the light. It would be? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The light is my most favorite part. And see, the, and, the, and the shelves, like the, the shelves in between the cabinets, like definitely wanted to go with the longer cabinets. But when you put those pools on, that, that set it off. Those, those pools are nice. I thought I would try to surprise you with the whole, my that, choice those of pools. pools. is nice. Unexpected. You know, you're really? going to go with something like, you know, gold in the gold pan. No, sometimes yeah. you have to do different stuff. Okay, well, since, I'm going to go ahead and end the video because it's hella long. But since, um... You know, I can't get a van um, and everything, and this is giving me my modern farmhouse vibes. Like, I'm so in a farmhouse right now. Can you just buy me a farm? <laughs> <laughs>